Now let's look at two more examples of writing these transformations of polynomial functions. So this time we're going to be looking at multiple transformations that's going to be happening to our function. So it says, let the graph of g first be a vertical stretch by a factor of 2, followed by a translation 3 units up of the graph of f of x is equal to x to the fourth minus 2x squared. Write a rule for g. So I see two different transformations happening here. First, I see there's going to be a vertical stretch by a factor of 2. So that means that a is 2, followed by a translation 3 units up. So that means that k is 3. So I'm going to first just write a function going into that first transformation. I'm just going to call this h of x. So h of x is a vertical stretch by a factor of 2. So vertical stretch, that means I'm multiplying my f of x by 2. So I have 2 times f of x. Well, f of x is equal to x to the fourth minus 2x squared. And so distributing my 2, I get that h of x is equal to 2x to the fourth minus 4x squared. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in that second transformation. The second transformation, which is going to be my g of x, says that it's followed by a translation three units up. So that means I need to take my h of x and add three, which we see that again in our table for vertical translation, we take our function and add what we are going up or down by. Well, h of x is equal to 2x to the 4th minus 4x squared. And so then I have that plus 3 at the end. And so that's going to be my g of x. Okay, let's look at one last one. So number 3 says, let the graph of g be a horizontal stretch by a factor of 2, followed by a translation 3 units to the right of the graph of f of x is equal to 8x cubed plus 3. Write a rule for g. Okay, so this time I have a horizontal stretch by factor of 2, so my a is 2, and then this is going 3 units to the right. So right, that is my h. So first I want to follow that first transformation. So I have h of x is equal to, I am doing a horizontal stretch by a factor of 2. So horizontal, that means that my a is inside those parentheses. So it's going to be f of, I'm going to put that a multiplying my x. Remember with horizontal, for your a, you need to do the reciprocal of it. So since it's a 5 factor of 2, this is really going to be 1 half x. So that means everywhere I see an x in my function here, I'm replacing it with 1 half x. So I'm going to have 8 times 1 half x cubed plus 3. 1 half raised to the third power is going to be 1 eighth. And x cubed plus 3. And then when I do 8 times 1 eighth, that just equaled 1. So I have that h of x is equal to x cubed plus 3. Now I need to go ahead and do my second transformation. So my g of x, it's going to be a translation three units to the right. And so that means I need to take my h, and I am subtracting three from x. And we see that in our table up here. And I do x minus my h. And so that means everywhere I see an x, I'm replacing it with x minus 3. And so that means that g of x is going to equal to x minus 3 cubed plus 3.